Hello everyone and welcome back to Real FPV's channel. Today I'm going to be doing a how-to on installing your drivers for this flight controller as well as choosing the right firmware to flash the flight controller and lastly setting up the OSD which sometimes might be kind of tricky but the good thing about the Omnibus V2 F4 flight controller is that it has the integrated OSD which is configured through Betaflight. No longer you have to download the MW OSD uh, configurator to set up the OSD and move around. Um, Betaflight has made it very easy to go ahead and uh, configure the OSD via Betaflight. So let's go ahead and get started guys. So Boris has made it very easy on installing the drivers for these flight controllers. You'll find the download for the Zadig uh, configurator right here just by clicking here. I'll go ahead and click here with you and take you there. So you'll pretty much, this is what it'll look like. You'll pretty much just download under here, right here, 2.3. Right now, I just have the 2.2 version. So this is what it'll look like, and from other videos I've seen, it's kind of hard to understand how you get it to pop up under here because when you click on here there's nothing here so what you'll do is you'll go to options and you'll do list all devices and it should pop up right under here so I'll go ahead and connect my flight controller now so it has a boot button right here and you just hold it down and you'll insert the USB while you hold and you see that it just popped up right here so you'll go ahead and click on it and my drivers are already reinstalled so I mean my drivers are already installed so I don't need to reinstall them and then you'll see that in the Betaflight configurator um, it's already in DFU mode go into um, flash firmware and I had already flashed another board but not this one yet so we'll do the omnibus F4 SD since like I showed you this one is the one with the SD card micro SD card slot and then you know you can choose whichever firmware you'd like I'm going to go ahead and choose 317 and then you'll just flash Hit connect and it's pretty much that easy I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in a quad that I have already built with this board and I'll show you uh, my setup. So this is the build that I have with the Omnibus F4 V2 and um, as you can see it's uh, in there with a 4-in-1 and uh, if you're wondering what frame this is, this is the, the Kratos Freestyle from Atmospheric Adventures. Um, and this quad is set up with uh, DSM-X. It will also show you what you are to use if you're setting up Spectrum. Okay, so here we are. We're connected. Um, like I said, if you're using Spectrum, you'll want to enable UART 1. as well as enable the 
serial base spectrum satellite and I always enable spectrum 2048 um, for the current sensor you'll want to if your PDB or 4-in-1 has a built-in current sensor like the one that I have um, you can turn on the current sensor and shoot a a wire from the current sensor into the flight controller directly this board is uh, up to 4S friendly so you won't have any problems with that as well as since I'm shooting the VBAT line from the 4-in-1 straight from the battery to the flight controller so I can have my um, onboard voltage display I've also turned on VBAT so we'll go ahead and go to the OSD tab and this is pretty much how I have mine set up and as you see you can click on them and drag them, the, drag them around and this is pretty much all I have on here and you can just turn them off and on so you can you know configure this any way that you would like um, after pretty much setting up everything you know just don't forget to click save or save and reboot if you're in the configurations tab well guys it's just that easy hope you liked the video um, like comment share and subscribe